We've got Legion baseball from Memorial Ballpark. Vistas and Govs getting after it there. In a really low scoring affair, only one run between the teams through five. Mina has a spark in the sixth. It's Jonas Bubach spraying one down the right field line, bringing home Braden McCarthy, giving the Vistas a 2 1 lead. Only one hit for Bismarck into the sixth, but they found a way. Two outs then, a nice diving stop up the middle, and comes up firing home, but Carter Clipfill. Beats the throw to give the Governors a 3-2 lead. That would be the final score in that one. And Detroit Lakes walks off over Minot. In Dickinson, it was the Volunteers all over the Metros. Meanwhile, in Sioux Falls, it was the Saber Dogs and Sunfish. Surris Valley trying to rally, but a hot shot is hauled in at shortstop for Sioux Falls. We move ahead to a nice 2-1 put-out fielding display for the dogs here out by just a little bit but a tough turn coming up a bases loaded hit by pitch allows the sunfish to come home and score the saber dogs drop a 5-1 decision to sioux falls this is the 25th season for pros pointers during the silver anniversary season johnny has selected a fishing tip from each of the last 25 years to revisit this is week number six, and Johnny shows us one from 2002. And in this case, the more things change, the more they stay the same. Jigs are very effective at getting bites, but sometimes hooking fish can be a challenge. The first thing I'll do is switch to the next size smaller jig. This lets the fish inhale the bait a little bit further. It gives you a little bit longer to set the hook. If that doesn't work, I'll switch to a stinger hook. This gives me an extra chance on the tail end of the minnow to grab onto those fish. But this can be a hindrance when you're fishing around a lot of snags or weeds because that extra hook picks up a lot of debris. If I'm fishing with short shank jigs, I like to give the hook just a little quarter turn offset to open the hook gap up a little bit. And if I'm fishing with a long shank jig, I'll just bend the hook gap out a little to give me a little extra bite. And above all else, you want to keep those hooks nice and sharp so you can help the fish get the point. After the past five weeks of looking back at how things have changed, if I had to shoot this tip over today, I wouldn't change a thing. I'm Johnny Candle, and that's this week's Pros Pointer.